the Wii Boost cell phone signal booster. This is going to be an unboxing and installation. I'm going to install this in my RV. I've set up my RV with solar and um, you know things that I can boondock with and be totally off the grid and not paying every night to you know for services like water and power and things like this. So if I'm going to go through all the trouble of setting it up to use it in remote areas, then I need to be able to also um, have cell phone service so that I can get internet service so that I can work and go on extended trips um, where I can be away from home during the week. Since I work from home, this will allow me to basically be remote and still be able to get everything done that I need to get done during weekdays. And then during breaks, of course, I can uh, go on rides and um, all that good stuff. So so let's check this thing out. Uh, this is uh, used to be m made by a company called Wilson and they've since changed their name to WeBoost, but it's the same company. And this is um, a 3G and 4G LTE signal booster. Uh, basically you have to be able to pick up a signal with it, but it has an antenna that uh, goes on the roof and we'll see all that during the install video. Uh, it does work off of 12 volt. Let's see what other kind of specs we've got on here. Oh, okay. Um, this particular device works with all carriers and cellular devices simultaneously so anybody within range of me is going to be getting cell phone service too so uh, that'll be kind of a bonus for anybody that's camping around me but uh, that's not my intent so um, it is what it is uh, good for them if they if they pick up service off me but um, I know one thing that this doesn't support is clear wire it won't boost the clear wire signal for some reason I don't know why that is but I read that in the reviews and um, and I shopped for this the same way I shop for all things by reading the reviews and this got several really good reviews. They have one that is a cradle type booster where you have to have the phone in it to be able to boost the signal which is fine that would have been just fine but it didn't get very good reviews and it only has a 23 decibel gain. This has a 50 decibel gain which is significantly better so um, uh, boosts voice and data speeds, including 4G LTE, amplifies the signal up to four devices in your vehicle, uh, extends the battery life of your cell phone by three hours of additional talk time. I don't, oh, uh, that must be because it's pulling in the signal and doing the work of pulling in the signal there, rather than your cell phone doing the work. And then it has some pictures of a typical install here in your car. Uh, it's got an outside antenna, an inside antenna that your cell phone picks up a signal from. And then, uh, of course, you've got to wire all this in. So I'll show you the picture here so you can get an idea where are we at. Is that upside down to you? It's upside down to me. I don't think it's upside down to you. If it is, it'll be funny. Here, we'll show it both ways. <laughs> Yeah, so that's a typical wiring setup. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox it and make sure that we have everything here. Now this cost 310 It was like 328 with tax and everything at Best Buy. I usually don't shop at Best Buy because they're really expensive, but they have a really good price matching uh, set up. And so um, I found this exact same product sold by Amazon for uh, 310 and you know of course plus tax so 328 and they matched it they were asking 379.99 for it and uh, they matched the price of 309.99 so so okay we have a quick install guide here here's the actual device so that looks a little bit different I wonder if it's just because of the Protect your purchase. Your smartphone is the fastest way to register your product. Okay. Uh, I wonder if the lights, the indicator lights, are underneath this. Any 
delete this sticker. Yep, there they are. Okay, that looks more like what I was expecting. So, okay. Band 4, band 2, band 5, and band 12, 13, and 17. So it's got multiple bands that it works on. I'm assuming to, to uh, work with multiple cell phone carriers. So we'll just stick that on there temporarily. So I remember... Okay, register your signal booster now. Take a photo of your registration code. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here is the inside antenna, and this is just a flat piece with a Velcro um, stick on on it so that you can stick it wherever you want it uh, in the RV or car. They're built for cars, but the purpose is that I want to run it off a 12 volt, so, um, so let's look at what we have in here. So this is the antenna, and I think you can buy a bigger antenna for this too for six or ten bucks. So this is a pretty, pretty short antenna, so um, I'll probably buy the the bigger antenna. And I wonder if this has if this unscrews off of here. Nope. So it looks like just a kind of a mini coaxial cable here that goes on each end of the signal booster. And then we got the power cable. Pretty straightforward, I think. Oh, nice. It's got a it's got an on and off switch on it. That's nice. I like that. And I do have a, a 12 volt receptacle in my RV already that I can just plug that right into and obviously turn it on and off. I may install another 12 volt receptacle. I don't know. Uh, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. So, okay, uh, that was already undone, so perhaps this unit has been returned. I hope hope everything works. 12 to 24 volt DC input and a 6 volt DC output at 2,000 milliamps, so 2 amps. So that means that 6 volts times 2 would be 12 watts that this would be pulling which is really good. That's hardly anything. So this isn't going to hardly use any power and it's going to boost my cell phone signal. It's probably going to pick up a cell phone signal from further away and it's going to boost it so that I can actually get internet service um, in, uh, and cell phone coverage in places where I otherwise would not, which is a problem for me. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll get this thing installed and then I'll show you the install. All right, so here's the install. This is the obviously the inside antenna and the 12 volt plug with the switch on it, so you can switch it on and off. And this is nothing extremely pretty to look at. It just goes down into the cabinet down there. But uh, I'm more of a function over form kind of guy. So unless the unless the uh, form interferes with the function then it's not really super important to me I mean I try to you know make it look halfway decent but uh, this works for me and then over here I got the antenna cable going up and out the roof and we'll show you the the um, antenna here in just a second and then down here is the booster and it looks like it's boosting two out of four bands. They seem to kind of come and go right here, the other two bands. They are band 5 and band is it 12, 13, and 17. That's what it says on there. I'm not uh, really sure what bands go to what carriers, but that's the way it works. And that's just, this is just fastened on there with some Velcro. So, um some 10 pound velcro so it shouldn't go anywhere and hopefully we'll get a better cell phone signal which equates to better data which equates to being able to work and travel and boondock in areas that um, I wouldn't be able to otherwise so that is uh, that's it let me know if you have any questions leave a comment if you do subscribe if you're new 
Lots more videos to come. Like if you like it. God bless. We'll see you next time.